Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of P2H4, which will yield PH3 plus P4. I already wrote down our little balancing chart, as well as the elements that I see on both the left and the right side. So let's just say how many we have in the start, and then we'll get to balancing. We'll start with the left-hand side. You have two phosphorus, so I'm going to put a two here, and you have four hydrogens. So I'm just going to put a four here. Coming to the product side, just be careful. I have phosphorus on this compound, and I have phosphorus here. There was one phosphorus plus four, so one plus four is five total phosphorus. And then for the hydrogen, I have a three here, so I have three. Now, usually we like to balance and by multiplying, and you'll always like to bring the lower number to the higher number by multiplying by a whole number. So in this case, two times what will get me to five? Eh, that's not really gonna work. And the same thing here, three times what will get me to four? Eh, can't do it with whole numbers. So usually what you're going to do is you're going to swap the numbers to get them to being the same. But there's a trick here, guys. Hydrogen, I can just easily say four times three and three times four. And by doing that, they'll both equal to 12, right? And whatever number that you say is being multiplied, those are the coefficients of the elements that have those, of the compounds that have those elements. So I'm going to put a three here and a four here. But look here, guys, if we do it this way, do you see how we have three times two, which would be a total of six phosphorus? And then on this side, I have four phosphorus plus four, which would be eight. So, uh-oh, I can't do the swapping method because I don't have the right amount of phosphorus. So we have to think of some other way. I just wanted to show you that because normally that will work, but for this one, there's a trick. So now I think of the next number that these have in common, right? I gotta go higher than 12. So the next number that they have in common is 24. If I take four and I multiply this by six, that will get me 24 and three times eight will get me 24. And those numbers that you multiply go as the new coefficients. Okay, so I'm just going to put a six in front of here and an eight in front of here. But now you just gotta be fair. Whenever you put a coefficient in front of compounds, you have to distribute that coefficient to all of the elements in that compound. So let's start from the top. Six times two, Six times two is 12. So now I have 12 phosphorus. And then the six times four is now going to give me 24 hydrogens. Let's see, did our hard work pay off? I gotta distribute the eight phosphorus here, right? So I have eight plus four. So eight plus four is 12 phosphorus. So no more five, I have 12. And then for the hydrogen, eight times three is now 24. And look at that. There you go, guys. This is now balanced. So the new, actually, hold on, let me, oop. I wanted to get rid of this blue phosphorus, but whatever. You guys get it, right? So this is the new balanced equation. You have six P2H4s, which will yield eight PH3s plus one P4, and we are balanced. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this one helped. This one was a tricky one, but we got it, all right? Um, subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your classmates if you guys you know, are all in chemistry together. We also have physics and math videos at the moment, so go check our channel out, all right? Thank you so much, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.